Hi, Lou Manfredini, ACES Home Expert, and in this video, we're gonna show you how to replace a wax ring. Okay, replacing a wax ring can be something that you need to do if you notice that water is leaking from where the toilet uh, meets the floor. That can be a sign that a wax ring is leaking, or if you notice some odor coming from down low near where that area uh, meets it. It can be that that wax ring has lost its seal, it's just deteriorated. Many times you just have to replace it. You start by turning off the water to the toilet, remove the water line uh, connecting the uh, water service to the toilet tank, flush the toilet, get rid of as much water as you can. Then the two bolts that are holding the toilet to the floor, commonly referred to as Johnny bolts, many times there's a, uh, a plastic cap covering that just pops off. And you'll notice two nuts there that you're gonna loosen. And once you do that, you're gonna carefully lift the toilet straight up if you can, because if you jostle the toilet around, you may be spilling water onto the floor. So it's a good idea to have a couple of towels handy to clean up any water. At that point, when you remove the toilet, you may notice that there's wax residue from the old wax ring on what's called the toilet flange. That's the circle piece that those bolts are connected to at the floor level. And you will also need to remove any excess wax from the bottom of the toilet bowl itself. Now keep in mind, when you turn this toilet on its side, you may be spilling water, so again, have some towels handy to be able to uh, clean things up. Then you've got some choices when it comes to uh, wax rings. There are standard wax rings that work fine. There are some that have a plastic neoprene flange that helps to direct the water into the flange that's in the floor. Or now there are even synthetic wax rings. Place the wax ring, a traditional wax ring, onto the actual bottom of the toilet on the bowl. And then you may want to consider replacing the bolts that hold the toilet in place. And then you carefully align the toilet bowl over the flange and then gently lower the toilet onto the flange where the bolts are poke up through the toilet. And you sort of sit and squish down on the toilet to work the wax ring in to get a tight seal. Then, if you want to put caps back on, the plastic caps, the washer goes on first, then the metal washer, then the nut. You tighten them down, make sure that you've oriented the toilet properly so that it's not cockeyed against the wall. And then you go ahead and tighten those bolts down. You don't want to crank down on it, but you definitely want them to be snug. If there's no movement back and forth, that's it. Put the plastic caps on and you've just replaced your wax ring. And that's it. If you'd like more information, please go to acehardware.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel where you'll find more helpful videos. Or better yet, go to your local Ace Hardware store because Ace is the helpful place.